Hi guys, Gerald here. So today, we're going to be doing something differently. I'm going to be taking you guys by the hand, literally, and showing you guys how to create a data entry gig. Now, this is a series I'm, I'm going to be doing in the next few days. We're going to take a, take a particular gig, and I'm going to show you guys how to create that gig from scratch, from, from start to finish. Now, after we are done with this series, I'll do about 10 different gigs. After we are done with this series, then we go into how to promote these gigs, right? So if you're new to my channel, I want to encourage you to subscribe and hit the bell notification button so that when I drop awesome videos like this one, YouTube will notify you that Gerald just dropped another awesome video. That way, you will ha have the first timers advantage and win, right? So um, that said, also leave a comment in the comment section and give this video a like. Share it with your friends also. Let's go to my screen, guys. Let me show you guys how to create uh, effective data entry gig on Fiverr. Let's go guys. Hi guys, so welcome to my screen. Yeah, welcome to my screen. So the first thing we're going to do is to search for data entry. Data entry. So let's begin to get an idea of how much the people that do data entry on Fiverr do make, right? Let's begin to get an idea. So we we'll look for them. Then this person top niches, let's use this as, as an example. So what I'm gonna do is to right click on this and open it in a new tab, right? So it's open right here. Um, okay. So, yeah, that's that's that. So it's opened right here in a new tab. It's still rolling. Okay, it's open right now. So, and what we're going to do is to look at, you see, it has 14 orders in queue. 14 orders on queue means that these are orders that, that is waiting for her to complete them. All right? And she has 1,054 reviews. This means that 1,054 persons has has she has completed at least this um this number of jobs and these persons have reviewed her now from experience on as a, as an experienced fiverr seller i can tell you categorically and emphatically right with every emphasis that most of the persons that you actually do job for on fiverr they don't give you reviews right so i would say that half of about 500 persons have not bothered reviewing her they just took their orders and they went away right so um but we're just going to keep it. We're just going to assume that this is the number of persons that she has done this job for. 1,054 plus 14. That will give us 1,078. Right? Am I correct? 5, 4, no, 68. 1,068. Okay? So, 2 hours of data entry, she collects $10 for this. Uh, 6 hours, $30. And premium is $100. So we're going to do this mathematics with $30. Being mindful of the fact that some people bought this and some people bought this. Right? So let's be mindful of that fact. Let's do the math with um, standard, which is 30 multiplied by 1068. So let's use Google for that. Uh, 30 multiplied by 1068, guys. Enter. Let's see how... how Okay, so this lady has made at least $32,000 from data entry alone on Fiverr, right? Now, consider the fact that she has other gigs that she sells also, you know, because if you, if you click on her name right here, you see other gigs that she sells on Fiverr. I'm just going to click right here and you're going to see other gigs that she sells. So she sells, has all these other gigs right here, virtual assistant, B2B lead generation, uh, skip, skip tracing, Excel superstar, highly motivated elder leads, you know, virtual assistant. She has all this, right? But on this particular gig alone, this one right here, virtual assistant and data entry, she has done over $32,000. Now, let me show you guys how to create this gig so that you have the chance of actually making this amount of money, guys. So let's jump right into it, guys. So I'm just going to, if you don't have this Fiverr account already, please use the first link in the show of this video below to create a Fiverr account so you can get started. I also have a video, right? I'm just going to put that video right here. This video showing right here is going to show you how to create a Fiverr account, right? That's what it's, the, the, that's what it's about. Also, that's what it's about, really, how to create a Fiverr account. So that said, I'm, I'm going to assume that you have created your Fiverr account. If you've not, I want you to pause this video or watch the video to the very end, take your notes, then watch that video on how to create, a, create your account on Fiverr. Create your account. And come back here and set up your gig on data entry so i'm just going to go straight into creating my gig so i'm on the selling platform so i'm just on the buying platform so i'm just going to go to selling right switch to selling on fiverr right and i'm just going to go to gigs or here okay i'm just going to go to gigs 
right and i'm just going to go to create a new gig create a new gig now as a new seller on fiverr what happens is that you are allowed to have just seven gigs right just seven gigs and i have six right here so what i need to do is to i will delete this one in draft so i'll just delete this one in draft right here so i can set up another one for you and show you guys how to create a data entry gig so we're going to be using this one as a model i'm going to be using this one what i normally do is to i don't like reinventing the wheel so people have done this already so you know you do you you, you try and look at what they've done to get an idea of what to do now i'm not saying that you should copy, copy them verbatim because if you do that fiber is going to block your account they're going to delete your gig not block your account right because of course it's plagiarism so um i'm going to come come right here and i'm going to go to create a new gig create a new gig now um but before you start filling out all this form you have to do keyword research to try to think like you know the, your, your your buyers what are they searching for right because those those uh, keyword those uh, keywords will actually inform uh, Fiverr of what your gig is about. So I type data entry. Now suggested, this suggested I show you right here is an idea into what people actually do search for, right? People search for data entry typing work, copy paste, virtual assistant to data entry, uh, data um, typing job, typing data entry work, data entry jobs, you know, that's what people are searching for, right? And if you look at this, this lady will look at her gig, you see that some of these things she has it here, virtual assistant for data entry, right? Which is virtual assistant for data entry. You see? So she was very smart and that is most likely what she's ranking number one. You know? So all we are going to do is that we already have an idea. I'll be your virtual assistant for data entry. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to come here. I will be your data assistant for no, virtual assistant rather virtual assistant virtual assistant for data entry comma right I'm not sure five allows comma do data assistant um what's the other thing there data assistant copy paste um typing job right copy paste so I'm just going to do copy paste, paste, typing job, typing, um, what's the data mining, how data mining there, data mining, data mining, A single N, data mining, right so this is this is okay suggested business data entry virtual assistant you know it could be anywhere but what i'm going to do is that this person that is doing very well where has she put her gig right where has she put her gig her gig is under which category that's what i'm trying to find out uh that business data entry that's exactly where we are going to put our gig business data entry so you see business category data entry search tags what are what, are, what is going to be our search tags so we come back to this person that is doing very well let us look at her search tags right this is these are her search tags then let's look at this place also then this is also search tags so what i'm going to do i'm going to do virtual assistant for data entry as a search tag virtual assistant data entry you see she actually separated them and that's most likely what we are going to do uh data virtual assistant comma comma uh, uh, okay enter to a data entry data entry data mining data mining five tags maximum so we need five tags so i'm just going to uh copy paste yes let's i forget copy paste copy paste enter there's one more remaining so we can look here 
web research web research you can come to our search type in i can actually i can do typing job right so typing job enter so we have our search tags we have our category or we have our gig title right so i'm just going to go to save I'm just going to save and continue so it's loading up loading up loading up loading up yes this is the next step right so what we are going to do in this next step is to uh, our scope and pricing that's what we're going to do so three packages is a normal thing now the difference between this guy you can watch you watch this video and see how how it works but i wouldn't do that so you can actually spend time and watch the video um what it does is that gives you three standard three packages right so if you so you can very you can you can verify you can describe you can differentiate your gig that's the word differentiate your gig description so basically this is basic standard and premium for some people they'll just do basic right but you're trying to give people more options right when you when you charge higher for premium and all these places so how are we going to do that um i'm just going to come here and switch these packages toggle right you switch it on so it's on right here right now so basic standard and premium so what are we going to call our basic gig now this person said 20 hours of data entry, 6 hours of data entry, and 2 hours of data entry. Now, I cannot compete with this person, right? Because she has reviews and she's ranking number one and all that. So we want people to trust you also, right? So the important thing for you to do is to, you know, this person is doing for 2 hours. You can do for 4 hours for $10 or 3 hours for $10 because you are trying to bring people in and get the reviews, right? So that said, I'm just going to come right here and do... um. Uh, four hours of data entry. Now, another thing is that data entry is our main key, our primary keyword that we're trying to go for, right? So we're going to have it as much as possible into everywhere. So I'm going to do three hours of data entry, right? I'm just going to copy this, uh, drop it here, drop it here. Then this is going to be uh, five hours, and this is going to be uh 20 hours right 20 hours six hours and this okay so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna do three hours uh seven hours and 20 hours so description so we go back to this place again to go and get this is our description right i'm just gonna copy this Control v i will do three hours right so we need to be smart Three hours of virtual assistant. Okay. Virtual. Okay, there's, there's a limitation in the number of words that we can actually have here. Copy and paste. Three hours of virtual. Assistant data entry, uh, web research. I'm just gonna control C D, control X this, and put it here, right? So I can just move things around. So I'm not copying verbatim right now, right? So I'm just gonna copy this and paste it in here, and change this to seven hours. Then I paste it in here again. And change this to 20 hours right so delivery time how long are we delivering let's look at this person she delivers in two days three days and four days so we are trying to have an advantage i'm going to deliver in one day deliver this one in uh, three days and deliver this one in five days right so that gives us an advantage four days four days three days okay so we're trying to get and have an advantage four days uh two days right hours of work we already stated that three hours for this three hours for this this one seven hours for this and this one 20 hours for this so 20 hours for this formatting and cleanup yes 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 right graph and table creation i can do graph for this one the revisions, uh, you can do unlimited revisions, right? Because you're trying to bring people in. So you tell them they are going to revise as much as they want, right? Or you can offer 
because you want them to go for your premium package so you can actually offer one here uh, or you off offer two here and offer let's say uh, offer five here or four revision and this one unlimited right because the whole idea is that this is more pricey so you're trying to get them to go for this as opposed to these other ones so your price uh, ten dollars for right here you do twenty dollars and right here you can do it for fifty dollars so fifty five dollars right because you are trying to are trying to be cheaper or less expensive as to your competition so additional hours you can do additional hours you tell them how much you have for additional hours you know like so you can actually do all this extra fast delivery they want it delivered in in one day which is what you already do for this you want it delivered in two days you know they pay extra for these ones so additional revisions save and continue so your description this is actually very important this is very 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 important now the person ranking number one has actually done a very good job so what i would do for this description is to take what has been written here and edit it to suit what i need what i what i want to achieve right so i'm just going to open a new notepad document notepad notepad open notepad right here and put it here right put it here then i'm going to edit this so we are going to do this together i'm going to do this together if you copy this and paste into your description what's going to happen is that they are going to shoot your gig down almost immediately right so please do not do that take your time spend time right and those keywords that you already have we have those keywords already so those keywords find a way to embed them this person has done a good job you see data entry data mining data entry you know as much as needed right okay so i'm just going to say do you need so i'm going to pause this video and edit this then i'm going to start again so this video is not unnecessarily long so guys um i'm done editing this right so i've basically rewritten everything right in my own words and blah blah and you know, like so i'm just going to copy everything Control c i'm just go back to where i'm creating my gig which is right here and put this in the description box right here Control v right so it's telling me that i'm allowed to have 1200 character but i have 1210 uh continuous yes linkedin yes so i need to remove some things to bring this thing down i just need to remove 10 characters to bring this thing down to where it should be so do you have lots okay virtual assistant looking for right so that said i can do i can just put these guys in this so i'm just going to put ev everything with this uh ul this i'm just going to list everything so it's easy to read it is easy to read so so uh, th this is how to create a data entry gig on fiverr right how to create a data entry gig on fiverr so this this is done right i can take this in up a bit got a big continuous for about ordering my basic or standard gig you can test okay let me just highlight this make it bold and highlight it yep okay so as a review blah 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 virtual assistant services i'm just going to highlight that also the data entry copy and paste matching and related tasks so i want to make this my the keywords bold where they are virtual assistant services bold this 
right? So when people look at it, they just see it immediately. That's the point I'm trying to, that's what I'm trying to achieve. So this is done, right? So I'm just going to do a control C. Now, there are times that you write this thing and it will, when you go to the next tab, it will disappear. I don't know why it happened. So what I normally do is that I copy, control A, control C, I copy everything into my clipboard, right? So it, just in case that happens, so I'm just going to, you can do all this frequent uh, FAQ, but it do, doesn't add much, right? When you have time, you can come back and do it. So if you don't understand it, you want me to do a video on it, let me know in the comment section, guys. And I'll consider making a video on how to add FAQ. Maybe when I'm doing the next gig, right? Then what the buyer needs, what the, what the tell the buyer what you, what you need to get started. So what do you need from the buyer, right? Um, instruct, instructions or documents you think will help make the job better and better faster and easy no, better and faster better and faster mandatory nope don't make it mandatory add you can add another requirement if you need to then save and continue i don't need to in this in this scenario right now i don't need to so the next thing for us to do is to add a gig gig photo and gig uh, video now this is optional right but this one is compulsory and what is this now let's look at this gig again you see all these images that I show here that is what our gig uh, description is gig um what's it called geek image is basically so what i'm going to do is there are two things that you can do you can use your face right you can use your face it's okay or you can use a different design so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to design um, a virtual assistant i'm going to design this right and it's it, when you look at this you see that most of these guys have what they do boldly everything this one comes converts a lot better than the one that than these ones that doesn't have when you look at it it's just a bunch of stuff right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to um come back right here when you hover it's telling you right here that you need 50 550 by 370 pixels right so i'm just going to open my image editor now this is the thumbnail for this video which i have already done Control n uh, 550 by 370 enter right this is it right here so i need you need a picture and an image so I go to my favorite place for getting images, which is freepick.com, right? I don't want my, my my face on it. I want to use a random picture, right? Of maybe a girl, um, a uh, girl with laptop, girl with laptop, girl with laptop. Okay, I can actually use this. Nope, um, happy girl. happy girl okay so this could work i kind of like this i kind of like because i can see what i'm going to achieve with it i see what i'm going to achieve with it so i just open in a new tab i'm just going to copy this copy image then come right here and paste this image in right i don't know if you can see what i saw yet so i can actually use this image right so what i'm gonna do right now is to come down a bit then the background i'm just gonna change it to rhyme with this then this place i'm going to also change it nope okay so um So this is data entry let's look at this young woman's gig again nope not this one this one this one there yeah. so let's look at what she has done in her gig description gig image so exclusively a virtual assistant for data entry that's exactly what we are going to do data assistant for the virtual assistant for data entry so i'm going to pause this video while i do the design so i'm done the, the important thing is that we have we have um, the information that we have we, we need is vivid so when people look at this they see the information you can actually make your own better but don't be lost in the design 
right? Don't be lost in design. Make sure that the information, when people look at it, right, they see what you want them to see, which is what you are doing. You are communicating, basically, right? Once they look at you, you are communicating. So I'm just going to save this. Uh, save as... Uh, just going to drop it here. Uh, JPEG data entry. 3 gig. Right? So... I'm just going to come back right here and upload our cover. So data entry, where is it? Right here. So you see? So the information we want to people to see is actually being seen. That's the very most important thing. So I'm just going to save and continue. Save and continue and publish the gig. Right? Publish the gig. So what you are going to see is that this gig has been published, published rather. So if I go to my, my Fiverr account now, I'm just going to open that in a new tab. I'm just going to click on done, done, okay. So if I go right here, I open an incognito window, right? I open an incognito window right here and go to fiverr.com slash the video guru one, enter. Right, you see, you see our gig right here, right? Our data, our data entry gig. You see it right here. Virtual assistant data entry. It's right here, and it's live. And when you look at it, you see that the information that the gig is actually about shows right here. And there's a picture of a beautiful lady, which is going, which is what is going to attract a lot of persons into actually. Um, or checking out this gig and eventually buying this gig, right? So that's the most important aspect. Of this so we've created a gig and guys this is how to create a gig so i'm going to be working on um, another gig creation if there's a particular gig that you want me to show how how to create it let me know in the comment section right and if you prefer a video on how to rank your your, your gig on fiverr then maybe that is something that we can talk about right until i see you in my next video guys keep winning and don't forget gerald loves you